Okay, so about a month ago, I started a new YouTube channel. Um, it's called Pig and Friends. If you're interested, you can either go on uh, Google and type in hashtag Pig and Friends, or you can go on Google and type at Pig and Friends if you're interested. Anyway, now I have two channels, so I have to do twice the amount of editing. So I, I set this up a while ago, um, and it's been working okay for a little bit, but today is the day where I got to do something about it. It's just... It's just not working anymore. So I'm going to completely dismantle this and rebuild an entire new uh, YouTube studio desk, I, I guess. I don't know. An editing desk? That's not quite sure. But that's what's going to happen. So stay tuned. So the first thing I do is I start off by getting measurements. And I just take the basic measurements, length, width, and height to start off. I then start to set up and prep for my main tabletops and they are three pieces of 10 inch wide boards that I am using wooden dowels to connect. I'm showing that both grains are going in opposite directions so the two boards on the outside have the same grain pattern um, the board on the in the middle does not. Now I'm gluing them up I have my pegs in and I'm going to start to I'm going to start to assemble my top. I glue everything and then I push it together and then I use clamps to secure it overnight. I do two tabletops, one small piece at two feet and one long piece at four feet. I do the same thing as the long piece, I glue them up and then I leave them to set overnight. I then start breaking down pieces and start to get ready to put my boxes together. So I'm going to have four shelves on each box, two boxes, so I start cutting down one foot pieces and putting the pocket holes. Now you can see I'm gluing and uh, beginning to assemble those boxes or those shelves, I guess you would call. I start off on the bottom with pocket holes and I have basically two pocket holes on each side for each shelf and then I glued them all together so they are permanently connected. I just keep working my way up putting one in at a time, gluing it, screwing it in, and to the point where I can put the other side on. Now I have a completed box. I have one of two. I got So I built the other one off of camera. That way you guys um, didn't have to sit through it again. Now I am putting together a pair of legs for the back corner so I can brace the back corner. And that's just a simple L shape with two one buys. I glue and then brad nail those together. I do two of them and then I use a small piece of board in between to connect them. All right, so it's day two. Basically what I did yesterday was I assembled all the things that I could and glued everything up and I let it sit up overnight. Now, before we get started on day two, before I start putting finishing touches on things and I start assembling everything, I figured I would take a second, bring you guys in the Tinkercad and just kind of go over everything that we've done so far. All right, so I'm going to bring you guys in the Tinkercad. And so as you can see, these are the components. These are the pieces that I have. I have this built already. I had the small box built already. I had the large box built already. I have the back legs built and I have both pieces for my L shape. I have both of my tops done as well. I still need to put the trim around the top and I still got to cut these holes. Then I will bring it up to my um, studio and start actually installing it. Now that it's day two, I take my boxes and my tabletops and I start sanding them down. I also make measurements so that I can drill holes for my wires to feed through. I drill two sets of holes with the hole saw and then I finish them off by flipping the board over and drilling from the bottom. I 
I then start working on my trim and I just basically countersink screws and screw them right to the bottom. I did not glue these, I just screwed them on. And you can see what it looks like when it's done. I then use a paste finish wax for the tabletops. The boxes I'm going to stain so it will be two different colors. But this paste is just for the top surface and now you can see that I'm staining the boxes themselves. Once I stain everything and I put the wax on, I let it dry for a little while and then I begin to reassemble everything in place. I start off by using pocket holes as opposed to the brace that I was going to use before and I screw the tabletop together before I then mount it so to the, the boxes. Okay, so the desk is finished. I still have to empty out all of my stuff here and fill up all these containers, but for the most part, the build itself is done. I could start using it, I could start editing. I did mess up, I didn't wait long enough. I gotta touch all this up. That's fingerprints from the stain. I didn't, I was too anxious with it. I only had two days to build this thing. I wish I would have had a lot more time, but I did not, so. I also threw lights in, as you can see. Um, I do have controls. I do have different controls for those and stuff like that, but I, I don't plan on ever using any of that. Um, I'll probably leave it on a neutral color. It's really just for my eyes when I'm editing. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you got something out of it. If you got something out of it, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe. Go ahead and go to the channel and check out some of the other videos. See ya.